Hello, my name is Maria Miller from mathmammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study surface area. My first figure here is a tetrahedron. It means it's like a pyramid and it has triangles here as faces. In fact, it has four identical triangles there. Each triangle is an equilateral triangle. And we need to find the surface area of this tetrahedron. It means we need to add the areas of those four triangles. And since the four triangles are identical, then we of course go four times the area of one triangle. So we would get area equals four times. And then the area of one triangle would be, as usual, base times height divided by two. And the base and the height are given here in the problem. The base is eight centimeters. And then height is given here, 6.928 centimeters divided by 2. And now all you need is a calculator. And of course you can simplify here, 4 divided by 2. You get 2 here and 1 here. And the area will be 41.568 square centimeters, which we will round for example, to the nearest whole square centimeter, we would get 42 square centimeters. Here, this is a prism. I know it doesn't maybe look like exactly how I intended it. I was intending for the bottom shape to be a parallelogram, but it's hard to draw. And then on the top, there's another parallelogram, and then they are joined with these straight lines here. So that makes a prism, a right prism. And we're going to find the surface area and volume of this prism. Okay, first of all, let's do the volume because it's easier. Volume for prism was calculated by multiply the area of the base times the height. And since both of them are given, we have the area of the base being 80 square centimeters and the height being 15. The volume is pretty easy. All it is is 80 square centimeters times... 15 centimeters. Okay, 80 times 10 would be 800, and so we take 800 one and a half times. So we get 1200. And now square centimeters times a centimeter would give us a unit for volume, which will be cubic centimeters. And now the surface area. Okay, for the surface area, I need to calculate the area of each face, and then add all of those. So there's a bottom, we know its area. The top would be identical, its area is also 80 square centimeters. And then these side faces here, each one of them is a rectangle. And so as rectangles, there's 10 centimeters times the height, the 15 centimeters. Okay, so for the surface area, we would get the top and bottom, so there's 2 times 80 square centimeters, and then we have the four rectangles, four times, and one rectangle is 10 times 50, 10 centimeters times 50. There, so here is of course 160 square centimeters, and then add 600 square centimeters, so in total 760 square centimeters. 